Why in the world would my customer want a flat roof on top of an already flat roof shipping container? We have our new exterior truss brackets, which go along with our exterior studding bracket product line, and that allows you to use wood studs to build a roof on a single shipping container or span across multiple shipping containers. Right here is something we came up with utilizing these brackets, mixing wood construction with shipping containers. I typically hate wood studs, but with these exterior studding brackets, I finally found a purpose for them in container-based construction. Stick around, hope you learned something. The brackets that we initially offered are our upper bracket and the base bracket for exterior studding shipping containers. And through releasing videos to you guys and all of your awesome comments down below, you've told us that you want a bracket such as this that doesn't continue the studs down the sides of the containers. So we call this the truss bracket, and this is the shining star. This is what allowed us to perform this modification on this flat roof shipping container and keep the container exposed on the sides, the doors, and the end wall. Another bracket we have is our cantilever bracket. This thing allows you to build a cantilever beyond the shipping container door end of a container and gives you a little bit of a deck up there or a rain screen where your doors are. And that was another thing that was highly demanded in our comments. We performed a test on this and we've come up with some pretty cool results and you're gonna wanna watch that in a future video. But let's get back to this one. We at The Container Guy have wisdom in the field of modifying shipping containers, but our team ranges in backgrounds and skill sets. None of us are pro tradesmen, especially when it comes to carpentry. That's why we were so excited when the Woodworkers Guild of America reached out to us. Woodworkers Guild of America has sponsored this video for people like me that are beginner woodworkers turn to video for a quick education to solve their problem at hand, and a vast collection of educational videos is exactly what they got. Here at The Container Guy, we found their video on Fastener Choice super helpful in picking the right hardware for this project. They have tons of premium content covering everything from joinery to table saw techniques, which makes learning new skills easy for beginners and advanced woodworkers. If you're about to take on a new woodworking project, there's lots of cool lessons to be learned at Woodworkers Guild of America. And here's the special offer. The first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description will get a full year of premium membership for just $1.49. Check them out and get building today. I love challenging the traditional way of doing things and I love the uniform look of solid white PVC panels up there and the truss design of these PVC panels can span a couple foot eave with ease. Same goes with fascia. The thin aluminum fascia typically used around here doesn't scream quality in my opinion. A composite board instead of aluminum provides a classy cedar finish while adding structural integrity to the fascia board. We use special GRK fasteners meant specifically for composite trim boards. This roll-on asphalt roofing system is an easy to change system that is actually going to a potash mine and that's going to prevent the potash particles from pitting the flat steel roof of these shipping containers. And that is why we're building this flat roof on top of another flat roof shipping container. This was all made possible by using Container Modification World's new truss bracket kit. You can purchase these on Container Modification World's website. There are a few of our very standard shipping container accessories installed in this modification that we can show off quick. The customer wanted a little bit of cross ventilation and so there's the Big Air 45 vents that have the bug screens. Also notice some new frames here and these are our utility pass-through frames. So these have a nominally vertical surface and a flat surface and the sides. So a lot of different utilities can pass through these frames. This allows now this customer to utilize this as like a utility shack and any electrician or plumbing and HVAC contractor can jump in here with the strut channel. They're right at home and they don't need to be poking a million holes through the side or the ceiling of your shipping container. So here are the final vent I just got to throw in. These are grill vents. They're all metal and they're powder coated. One thing I noticed, I had these installed on my home and they yellowed from the sun, even though they weren't facing the sun, just the UV rays bouncing off the snow. So I did have to hit them with a coat of paint. And then one other thing is that they're not really meant to filter bugs and so there are other PVC ones that have more of a bug filter but then it also restricts airflow so that is a bit of a concern and something you could do is just take some mesh screen or something from a patio door and actually just insert that in there and that should resolve that issue. One thing I noticed when I was doing this is if you actually drill your pilot and then if you just run it in reverse and just score the PVC and then continue forward afterwards that seems to help keep it all within alignment here so let's get going let's 
try the reverse. Yeah, so I've got it scored there now, and I should be able to follow that forward. Sweet, so that popped out of there, nice. And the vent should fit in well. Looks good, and that will allow air to flow around inside of there. It's not much of a slope, so there isn't really an intake or an exhaust, but at least with the sun beating on that black roof there, if it pressurizes, it can depressurize. So that will help. The only other thing I noticed on this container here, and one thing we could have done and maybe should have done, is put those lift point product. There's a rubber plug. It stops birds, rodents, and things from growing in here. Because there's no room here, I might have to fill that full of foam sealant, put a metal plate across here, something. Longevity is super important on this specific mod because it is going to a potash mine on the surface. There's a ton of salt, and when that salt mixes with the oxygen and the rain, it destroys metal. And so one thing we did here is we epoxy coated the floor to protect the interior of this so that potential water intrusion or humidity or moisture isn't gonna eat away and ruin the service life of this structure. Check this out how we did this. I'm sure we did it wrong, but we're, we're noobs with this asphalt rolled type roofing product, but whatever. I think the idea behind it is it's just so cheap to change out, even if we did it wrong and they want to redo it. Uh, I don't even think they'd phone us. They would just get her done. But one thing I do know is that going 70 miles an hour or 110 kilometers an hour down the highway, it's going to blow off. And so what I asked the guys to do is take these two by fours one on each side and then one across at least the front and maybe we do all four but we're gonna screw that down into the roof send them with some sealant that they can fill the holes after once it gets to site that's the one thing the customer is gonna have to do is just pull these two by fours back out but this way i have a little bit of confidence that this thing is going to make it to the customer's facility but it's solid up here i mean it's sloped so it's not quite flat like a party deck but this gives me a ton of confidence here that people can build whether it's decks or another structure up above shipping containers. And we actually have a very cool project that maybe we've teased a little bit, but you should follow along with. We are building an entire structure up above a container that's on an oil field skid. One thing I do notice is I checked the analytics of our channel and a lot of you people are coming back, but you're not subscribed yet. So please do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in any of these other cool products, check out containermodificationworld.com where you can purchase them and deliver them direct right to your door. Hope you learned something.